All right, Ashley here. How are we doing this time? Okay, so last time we talked about uh, some neat little facts about killer clowns from outer space and, you know, explored the story a little bit. Killer Clowns from Outer Space is a cult classic from the 1980s. I, I really, truly enjoyed the movie, but I also have fun poking at it a little bit here. So let's dive in a little bit about the deaths of the town citizens here. Things they should not have done and maybe they could have survived. Who knows? Okay, the first one we're going to go with here is... The guy that was watching a puppet show with some very creepy, with a very creepy clown doing this, held up two little puppets. Yeah, I was laughing a little bit, but he didn't seem to notice the clown had this like you know, razor teeth look going on. That well, for most people, would have scared the living crap out of them and caused them to get out of there quickly. You know, to say the least. Okay, so of course that took his life. Then we got the guy that went to try get his dog and claimed. I'm going to tear us apart with my bare hands. You know, he wanted his Pooh Bear dog. They took him from the clowns. I mean, you got to save your dog. Dogs are, like, totally awesome. What the mistake did he make? He's trying to punch this thing, realizes he can't get through it, tries to grab it, electrocutes himself, and everything. So, of course, there goes him. Then we got the lady that opens a door without even checking to see who's there. And automatically, there's this big scary as crud clown stand there holding a box of chocolates for her at nighttime. Okay. And her husband is somewhere in the house. And automatically she thinks her husband got her chocolates. Okay. Most of us ladies know that doesn't happen unless it's like Valentine's Day or something. And that was not Valentine's Day. And even for some guys it's just cliche now at this point that most of us women go buy our own chocolate. We don't care. But either way, would you accept chocolate from a clown that's kind of creepy like this? You know, just saying or similar? No. No, 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 no. You <clears throat> It is time to slam the door, forget your love of chocolates, and, and just for a moment pretend your husband didn't get you chocolates in order to survive. Then we got the, another death here. There was the lady that opened the door holding a glass of wine in her seat through negligee. And automatically she's like, hmm, pizza. Okay, number one. Apparently you didn't order pizza and it just randomly showed up there. Either you had a little too much wine or you just thought, hey, I'm going to get something for free. Why not? The only thing you got was your death. So, okay, next time you're really desperate for pizza, no matter how much you love it, don't take it from strangers, period. Don't answer the door for it. Nope, 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 nope. This is not some random happy gift. That doesn't normally happen. If it does, most of the time you have a general idea when it's going to. So, well, you know, that took off. Now, we do have one lucky one that man's to make besides Debbie, of course, where she has her ex-boyfriend and her boyfriend both pining for her heart and desperate to keep her alive. And for some reason, the clowns chose to just put her in a balloon. That's it. Her in a balloon. Go figure. So she was the luckier one, but the child is the one I was thinking of here. This little girl is supposed to be eating her delicious hamburger and french fries, although, uh, you know, fast food's not that great. And she sees a very creepy clown with jagged, razor-sharp teeth, smile, and wicked grin. And it's not a happy clown. It's not Ronald McDonald. Well, even back then, he was a little creepy. And it's not Puzzle Clown. It's none of that. This is something that wants to eat her or kill her or smash her with a hammer, whichever his decision comes first. She got lucky because her mom finally took the notion to look for her, help take her time to be a good parent for a brief moment, and get away from her food. So, that child got to live. And you got the guy, the, you know, that was the same place. And this time he's a worker. And what does he do? He's taking out the trash like a good worker. And all of a sudden he hears this extra noise in the trash can. He just stops and he's just like, hmm. You know, turn the gun and like, what is that? Opens it and nope. He just lets his whole self get taken in there by the creatures and destroyed. And, well, you know, that takes care of that. Now, the other deaths you got to think about was where all these college students and other teams were making out at. How the heck did these clowns all get them that quickly? My guess is you were making out way too much, you weren't paying attention, maybe you were drinking a little bit, you know, you were stargazing or gazing at your girl's eyes, I don't know what it was, but you completely just ignored the fact that everybody else around you was being zap zap, bye bye, turned into acidic cotton candy or anything like that, or uh, if you were very lucky to just become a balloon. And, of course, we go back to the final part that you always got to remember is when ah, the Terenzi brothers, 
the types that seemed to land on their feet like cats. Nope. The only thing that truly saved those two guys before, besides spoiler, getting into an ice cream truck, was, well, they just love women and boobs, big boobs. And there just happened to be two women clowns that truly, I guess, either just wanted to make out with them or just the kissed enough and that was how they got out. We never know what happened to those town clown girls. But for the first time, those boys actually pulled off some charm on women. So major props to you guys for surviving. So is that the only true way to make it alive out of horror film? I don't know, because most of them, you know, in the 80s, you normally die if you're trying to, you know, get it on with somebody or you're making out the most impromptu moments. But maybe because they're brothers and they're entertaining. And they're just sweet, gullible guys that, you know, try a little too hard. So if you ever think about it, just dig more into those dads and, you know, hit me up. Tell me what you think on them.